Hi, this is Rio De La Vista, and I'm here with Steve Quiller in his beautiful gallery in Creed, Colorado, and we're here today to talk about his work and participation in the upcoming Keep the Rio Grande Grand Art Show on August 15th in South Fork. So, Steve, thanks for having us here in your gallery. Well, thanks, Rio. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Thanks for coming up. Full of beautiful work from your travels around the world. Maybe you can tell us a little bit how you started out as an artist. Well, I, I, I'm very, very fortunate. You know, I, I found Creed, discovered Creed, Colorado, back in 1968, and uh, at the time, the downtown area was deserted. So uh, I wanted to put in an art gallery. My lifelong dream was to be a painter and to live in the mountains. So when I saw Creed, this is, uh, this is what I wanted to do, and ended up renting this building, downtown Creed, put in an art gallery, and eventually, uh, um, in 1972, in the fall, got to move here and start painting full time. Before then, I was teaching. I graduated from Colorado State University. But, um, teaching art? Teaching, uh, yeah, teaching art at a secondary level in Oregon. And then uh, that really uh, was a good thing for me because uh, since then I, I teach a few workshops along with my painting and it's taught me to organize my thoughts, to do lesson plans, and to uh, love just being around people. So uh, that, in combination with my painting now, uh, I've written a number of books and uh, has some teaching videos and uh, I teach workshops in the United States and uh, a few international workshops. So, um, so in addition to the painting, uh, almost every year I get to spend a couple months uh, in Europe somewhere. I've been to uh, Ireland and to Scotland and to uh, the Lake District of England and been to Italy and France and Mexico and Canada. And uh, then I get to come back to this beautiful, beautiful spot. I have a home right on the Rio Grande River. Great. Well, the beauty, obviously you capture incredible beauty in your paintings and they're just an extraordinary uh, use of color is one of your highlights of your work, I'd say. Well, there's probably uh, two things that uh, people recognize me for, and one is color, for sure. I, uh, I paint on location and in the studio. Uh, are we editing, so editing this? calling to buy some hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I noted for color and also for water media. And uh, this is a, a good example. This is a painting that actually won an award in New York in the American Watercolor Society last year. And it's based on my interpretation of a mountain. This is actually part of the Lagarita Range that's right above Creed and some of the uh, spruce and aspen patterns. And uh, so the color, as you can see, is very strong. It's fairly primary in terms of uh, the way I've used the color, but it's also a combination of water media, an underpainting of acrylic and an overpainting of casein, which is a milk-based paint. So I, uh, I like to play with the different visual qualities and handling characteristics of the different water media. So, and you capture, I mean, I don't know too many people who go out and use these colors to capture this <laughs> landscape, but you do. It's, it's well, it, it's interesting because, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people would look at this painting and say, well, this isn't exactly, uh, you know, how I would take a photograph and see this country. But I'm not uh, trying to paint exactly what is literally there. I'm trying to paint more how I feel about what uh, is so beautiful about this world. And, so uh, I don't work from photographs, actually. I work from color studies, and I work from my drawings and sketches and, and notes, and then try to get my personality and my uh, interpretation into each painting. And this one, um, again, was an award-winning, but that's not, you've number, won a number of other awards as well, right? Well, I've been very, very fortunate, and uh, I guess when you've been painting for 40 years, uh, some exactly. good things will happen. <laughs> Well, we're fortunate to have you participating in our art show to benefit the Rio Grande Headwaters Land Trust, and maybe you could tell us why you would participate in a show well, like that. Well, you know, I think that's a good question, and, you know, I'm very, very, uh, being a, a painter of nature and living in this beautiful country, I, I um, am tied in with nature, and I, I think it's important that we uh, preserve this country. and. Uh, you know, the more that we are around and uh, we're using this incredible earth, we need to also be stewards and to be able to take care that uh, it will be here for the future. And I think this is uh, one good uh, way for us to do that.
Right here in your backyard. Right here. <laughs> We're lucky to have you in our backyard. Well, I'm very fortunate. We look forward to having you hopefully for another successful show this year. Well. We're looking forward to it. Great. So we'll see you hopefully uh, in person again on August 15th at the community, South Fork Community Center in South Fork for our second annual Keep the Rio Grande Grand. And thanks again for having us here. Well, today. thank you, Rio. Appreciate Great. it.